Our next video here is uh, on determining the molecular mass. Now, what is the molecular mass? Well, the molecular mass is the mass of a molecule. The molar mass would be the mass of a mole of molecules. So it turns out it's, we're actually pretty well doing the same thing, but we just have to recognize the technical difference between the two. So we know that the molar mass, so the, the molar mass of uh, one of these elements, let's start with sulfur, of sulfur is equal to 32.07 grams. So that's the mass per mole of sulfur atoms. So the mass of a single sulfur atom is on average, that would be the average mass, of 32.07 AMUs, atomic mass units. And I say on average because there's going to be different isotopes of sulfur, and some will be a little bit more massive and some will be a little, a little bit less, but on average it would be 32.07 AMUs. So same thing with, uh, with oxygen. So we have the molar mass of oxygen, which is equal to 16.00 grams, which means the mass of one oxygen atom, on average again, because there are different isotopes of, of oxygen, would be 16.00 atomic mass units. So in the very same sense, when we talk about carbon, so the mass of one carbon atom, again on average, is equal to 12.01 grams. Remember that by definition, oh, 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 not grams, I'm talking about of a single atom now, so we need to use AMUs. Remember that the definition of an AMU is that it, that it is exactly one twelfth the mass of a carbon atom, but not just any carbon atom, the carbon-12 atom, which is the most abundant atom, but there's a few that have slightly higher masses, and so on average, you will have slightly greater atomic mass unit uh, measurement for the average mass of a carbon atom. And finally, for hydrogen, so the mass of one hydrogen atom is equal to 1.008 AMU, so slightly more than a single AMU. Now, if we now want to find the molecular mass of, say, sulfur dioxide, so the mass of one sulfur dioxide atom, that will be equal to the mass of a single sulfur atom multiplied times one because there's only one of those in the, uh, in the molecule. And then we take the mass of an oxygen atom and multiply that by two because we have two oxygens in that particular um, molecule. So we take one times the mass of a single sulfur atom, and that's up here, 32.07, 32.07 AMUs, and we're going to add that to two times the mass of a single oxygen atom, which is 16.00 AMUs. And so if we multiply that together, we get 32 plus 32 is 64 plus 0.07, so this would be equal to 64.07 AMUs. That would be the average mass of a single sulfur dioxide atom. And doing the same thing for our azorbic acid atom, remember that's vitamin C in our, previous, um, in our previous video, but it's actually called azorbic acid. It's one of the components in vitamin C. And so here, the mass of one C6H8O6 atom is equal to, well, we have six carbons, so this would be six times the mass of a single carbon atom, which is 12.01 AMUs, plus we have eight hydrogen atoms, so that would be plus eight times 1.008 AMUs, plus, and we have six oxygen atoms, so it would be six times 16.00 AMUs. And so finally, when we add all that together, and for that I'm going to use our calculator, if I can find it, it's right here. So we have 12.01 times 6 plus 8 times 1.08 plus 6 times exactly 16 equals. And so the total mass of one of those atoms would be 176.124 AMUs. Remember that would be for the average because there's of course going to be a different ratio of masses for individual atoms. But then, of course, if we want the mass of one mole of C6H8O6 atoms, a mole of those atoms, that would, of course, be 176.124 grams. 
So notice the difference. Since we're looking for the molecular mass, we want to express that in terms of AMUs for single atom or single molecule. When we talk about a mole of them, then of course we write the equivalent number, but with grams behind it. And that's where the ratio comes in between the mass of an atom and the mass of a molecule. But if they want the molecular mass, make sure you give them this and not this, because that's the molar mass.